And then this is the main event of the evening. This is the Ping Master. This is new old stock. Uh, it has never been used. So to be frank, I opened it in customs when I was coming to Brazil because they needed to inspect it. But I didn't even want to pay attention. I just let them inspect and didn't, uh, and didn't um, even take a look at this. So, so I can give you like the genuine first impression. So let's get to it. Let's see if I can. And you can see that this part is kind of open already. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 actually the reason they inspected is because they saw too, mu too many keyboards on my luggage. So they wanted to understand why I had so many keyboards. And I explained them. I don't know if they, they... So this is the top. Let's move it this way. Are you guys ready? Here it goes. Ta-da! Oh, wow, the smell. Mmm, it smells like old computers. This is a very unique smell, like seriously. You know what it reminds me of? Uh, back when I was about 16, I think, I went... The first time that I had contact with computers, I was taking some computing lessons at a local place here in Brazil, and all the computers smelled like this. It reminds me of that. So we have a unpacking instructions, which I think should go on the top there, but it's fine. And then we have, I don't know what this is. We do have a small tiny thing here. Let's see what this is. <laughs> yeah, they do. They have unpacking instructions inside. But I think this, this is supposed to come on the top of the case here. Let's see what this is. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I think those are feet or something. I guess so. I got this on eBay. It was like 30 bucks too. It's not something expensive. I can give you the link if you want, Gabby, later. There's another thingy here. What the heck is this one? Let's see. I don't know what this is, to be honest. Those look like feet. We're gonna, I guess we're gonna figure it out. Oh, it's a keycap puller. There you go. Thank you. And it's uh, it's uh, somewhat heavy. And it's too bad I won't be able to connect it. And this is maybe I can I can do a um, a converter. I don't think so. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah, it's really Jurassic. Oh, 
Oh, and this this IBM smell. It's like so unique. All right, so let's see where those things go. Hmm. I guess one goes here. And the other one goes here. Like this. All right, I guess we can do a quick uh, typing test. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what switches this thing has. I think it's, how do I take them out? Let's see. It's not sticking under. You know what? This is isn't working very well. So it's a um, S S K C L Alps. So the same ones that uh, the M. 0110 uses, I think. And it feels really good. So I'm guessing the same ones as those guys use. Yeah, but they, so the keycaps should be com compatible. Maybe not, maybe not. Hey, Admit, how are you? Yeah, they, they don't fit 100%. And I don't want to force it since they snap in so nicely. Oh, and I, I restored this guy. Um, this I got this last trip as well, and it was super dirty. It's a little dirty here, and the keycaps were like super, super dirty. And I even changed the switch because the caps lock here has like a locking switch, so I changed everything. And, and I, the fun fact is that I even recorded the process because I wanted to create a video for that. And the problem was that after I was halfway through it, I had a power outage here and I lost everything that I recorded. I was super frustrated. Just when I decided to create content, that shit happens. So it's an SKCC green. Okay. But I, I must tell you, this thing feels really nice. And as a matter of fact, I have a friend that created a 3D printed um, adapter that I think if it works properly, I think this is not the one. I have one of those that work fine. I just don't remember which one. That we can probably use to adapt MX um, style. Yeah, this one. So with this adapter and let's, let's see how that looks. I think it's those uh, SKCC green. So we probably can use cherry switches if I print enough of those here. You see how nice that is? It's gonna be a little high profile, I must tell you that, but it allows you to use cherry or any, any other kind of MX compatible switches here. Yeah, and it's a little, Wiggly as well, so but something nice to play with. And of course now this is too tight here inside the keycap. Yeah, I'll have to take it out later because it's really tight. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, for Alp caps on MX, I think they work out of the box. Let's do that. Let's give it a shot. Take a look at this, uh, how they look in the back. Um, let's see if I can make it focus. Come on, 90% of the thing is the foreground. Can you please focus? That too much to ask, I guess so. Fuck you. Can you see like how similar it looks? Let's uh, bring that board back so we can see if they fit. Yeah, they are not because of the height of the keycap. They do uh, fit, but it, it's a little loose. It's a little too loose, I want to say. You see how weakly they are? So I guess uh, we would need an adapter for that. Because basically those parts here, they get in touch with the squares here. And it's such a shame that I won't be able to connect it to the computer. That's really bad. Maybe with box switches, yeah, maybe. I, I have to tell you something, this, um, the feeling of the keycaps are amazing, like seriously. Look at those macros. I'm super disappointed that I got the wrong adapter. I wonder how easy it is. Maybe I can look it up. Let's see. Take a quick look to see how hard it is to create an adapter. What was the name of the connector again? This connector here is um, I think BLN told me Oh my thumb I, I cut it with um, this exacto knife the other day yesterday Let me see if I can find the name of the adapter You did it? Do you do you have any resources on how I can do it? I have both Arduinos here and I also have a lot of uh, Pro Micros and Tinsies so I can probably do one as well. Do you have any resources or is it easy to find? Rem remind me the name of the connector again. And since we're talking about that, uh, D sub pin nine. So you did it to pin nine to what? Hey, hey there, DIY keyboard. All right, Ogmid, thank you for joining. So you converted to what, to USB?
if you guys find a reference, um, has a controller, sorter controller. Okay, let me let me do this. Let me create a new widget with my screen capture. Give me one second. Okay, so let's uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is not it, most likely. Oh, okay, so you just wire it to Micro Pro. There you go. Thank you. Let me open this. Ha. That sounds, that looks simple. So we have the source code here. And I, I'm sure you probably can bypass this Oh, you can't see my mouse, but you probably can bypass the the female. All right, Gondo, have a good night. I'm about to wrap this up as well, but uh, let's see which model is mine. Gondo, thank you for joining. I think this is mine, except with Japanese letters. So it's gonna be something like this. Yep. So it is supported, I think. And then where can I find the schematics? Uh, source code, design files. Mm hmm okay yeah I'll, I'll look this up um, I'll see if I can manage to make this this little adapter here and I'm probably gonna do the same way they this guy have here with jumper wires and see how it works alrighty okay so anything else you guys want to see before I wrap this up that was a quick one Oh, let me, that's, that's nice. Let me, let me open that. And I just did something very similar today, but I did a, a PS2 uh, keyboard emula emulator on, on Arduino. All right, so you have ground, clock. Yeah. All right, so you basically do that. You hook that up to, to, the, to the pins on the D9 connector, and then it, it will output to, to USB, right? That's very cool. Yeah, I'll try to do that today even. And then you just basically flash that um, the TMK here, right? 
which I'm used to do. Okay. All right. So, hey, Ben, uh, BLN, thanks a lot. USL uh, as well, DIY keyboard for showing me the path. Um, and it's a bummer I got the wrong, um, the wrong adapter. That sucks. But I guess it's fine. Anything else you want to see about this keyboard before we I let you guys go? I'm probably gonna stick around and try to make make it work. Probably gonna need a uh, breadboard that I have here, but I'll I'll give it a shot. Give me one second. Let me see. Maybe I can try it right now. Let's see. How many? We need four. Four of those jumper cables. Let's see. Mayo to mayo. Maybe I can take out one of the mails. If you guys want to stick around, I'll, I'll try to at least start working on this right now. Let's see. So we're basically going to use pin ground. It's the third from the top to the bottom. And then we're going to use two and three. And then I need to see if I can take out the pin. And that doesn't look like I can. So let me see. I may have more of those lying around. Let me see where it, oh, I have two here that I can probably borrow for now. Let me see, I should have more of those. Hey, Fish Nothing, how are you? Still doesn't work. All right. 
right, let's see if I can instead do this. Just don't know how well this is gonna work. Of course you can, Arctic Fox. Maybe I need to thin this thing. Wait, I have one that I'm not using here. Okay, so we have two. Or maybe I can solder it to the connector, let's see. So, we just need pins three, two, three, four, five. I'm wondering what, what I should do. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to solder here or take this out. So let me put this back. Okay, I found another one. So we're just missing one. So 
So brown goes to ground. This guy is clock, so it's go to it goes to pin five. This one is data, goes to pin four. And then we're just missing one. And I think I'm gonna borrow it from another project. Here we go. And then we're gonna do VCC on this one. Oh fuck, this is not. <laughs> God damn it. Why don't I have one more? I do. All right, so this one is gonna be VCC here. I think this was one of the that I took out the yeah, the pen. Motherfucker. Let me see if I can tin this thing and then push it there. Let's see, maybe. Or or yeah. Or why don't I solder one of those things here? of those headers So let's do that. Let's solder. So first I'm gonna tin the, the tip here of this wire. I guess it's good if I also tin this guy. There we go. So we're gonna do VCC here. All right, so I think we have all the connections we needed. Now we just need to flash TMK here. Let's see if we can do that.
I need to remember how to do that. It's been a while. I'm trying to share my screen and I completely forgot how to do that in OBS with the whole oh, display capture. Here it is. <laughs> like how that looks. Give me one second, guys. I'm fixing this. Let me move OBS to my other monitor. You guys can see what I'll do here. a lot of stuff here so let me okay Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this for now and then we can make it better later. Okay, so let me go to TMK. Oh, and I think my keyboard died, did it? Just the terminal button. I'm gonna take a look at chat because I've been away. Hey, Jonathan, how are you? Sorry, it took me so long to get back to you. All right, so let's do this. Let's uh, go to TMK. Let's see what we have here. So what is, let me go back to that. Um, I 
IBM for 704. So this is what we're looking for. Let's go to converter, IBM. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, and now if I remember correctly, it's make the FU to flash it. So I need to reset this guy. Let me get a, where is reset? So you touch those two pins here. doesn't look like it's working. And I think what can be happening is that those pins are not touching. Let's see something real quick. show you I'm, I'm having a suspicion that those pins are not touching the pro micro so let's see I take this out I think I need a proper socket let's see if I have I do have one let's do that let's use the socket Oh, and then we have the same issue, of course. I needed to solder the headers on the Pro Micro. So I may do that. Let's see. This one is missing one. Yeah, this one is perfect. And then this one here. Let me see if I can flash the Pro Micro beforehand though. So here's what I would do. Let's connect it. See if I can reset it. Let me get another one because I'm starting to think that this Pro Micro is bad. Hey, what's up, KB Warrior? I am trying to make a converter for this keyboard here. So let's see if I touch ground and then reset. And I'm, it's not resetting, am I doing something wrong? Let me Google this. Short reset and ground. That's what I'm doing. So I have ground here, and then I'm gonna do reset. But I think that this light should 
come out, right? If anyone know what I'm doing wrong, let me know. I did that before, but somehow I don't know if those Pro Micros are have no firmware or something like that, and then that's why they won't reset. Oh, and this one shows as green, so I think the other ones were bad. Wow, yeah. <laughs> but this one still doesn't do anything when I short reset. Let me try another ground just for the sake of it and then reset. Nope. Not sure what the problem is. Let me try um, another cable, another jumper. Ground and reset. Nope. I don't know what the problem is. If anyone knows, let me know. Yes, I love those those legends and I'm trying to create an adapter so I can test it. Hey Visionaire, how are you? So I'm struggling with trying to reset this Pro Micro so I can do a, a converter for this keyboard and I'm struggling with it. Oh, and my Postmates just got compromised. Let me see if I can. Ah, oh, shit. Give me one second, guys.
Wow, and I can't cancel it. Oh, I can. All right, back to this. All right, see you, the Arctic Fox. Yeah, my M60A has been picked up. I just got the message that it did. I wonder if it's the cable that is bad. Let me see if I have another cable. Do I have another one of those handy? I do. Do I? Mm, no. Let me have one here. Mm, I heard some others had bad and odd as well. Oh, what do you mean the the bad and odd on the Alice or the M60A? Uh, I don't know. I'm. I'm. I think I'm gonna stream for another thirty minutes, and then if I can't make this work, I'll just give up and come back to it later. Why you ask? Ground and reset. No, doesn't work. Oh, thank you. Thank you, KB Warriors. Try on Discord to see if someone can help me on the QMK. Um, let me see QMK. Okay, so I asked on the QMK Discord to see if they have any idea why it won't reset.
I should, I can try like the fourth. Hey, Mikaiko, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, does it show up on USB? Let me see. Let me check. Let me see here. Um, system preferences. Um, is that a pro micro? Yes. And this is the third that I try to reset. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I guess I can zoom in as well. Let's see. So I'm leaving it on the ground pin connected, right? And then I'm shorting the reset, but it doesn't reset. So that is the issue I'm having right now. I'm gonna try a fourth one. You, you use the different ground pin. Uh, I tried another one as well. Maybe it's the USB hub. Let's see. Reset and ground. Nope. Doesn't do anything. Oh, sorry. Let me zoom out. <sighs> this is so frustrating because this is the last thing that I need to do in order for this to work. see if it shows up on my list of USB no I don't think it does
Yeah, and this is the fourth one that I'm trying. I don't know what I should do. Maybe I should try a teensy instead. And just go with the teensy, maybe. Let me see if I can make it work with the teensy. It's a different cable. Yeah, micro is better than mini. Oh, and I think I know what the problem may be. I have the Arduino IDE open. I think that was the issue. So maybe that was it. Let's see. It sucks that neither of them have USB pads, so you could wire your own connector. Yeah, just solder. No, that was not the issue, having the Arduino thing open. Apparently wasn't the problem. I am about to give up. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Freematics Arduino Builder. I don't even know that software. I'm gonna look it up. It's showing up correctly on your OS. I don't think it is. Let me double check. Let me remove it. And uh, you know what I can do? I can probably share this. Let me see if I can. Give me one second. Can you see the list of devices here? So the Pro Micro isn't connected right now. So I'll go, oh, it is connected, I'm sorry. I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna refresh the list of stuff here, hold on. So this is what we have before plugging the Teensy, oh, sorry, the Pro Micro. And let's plug it. So this is what I see, I see the red light here. And let me take another picture just to compare. Let me open up a new browser window, here it is. And let's get the first one. Oh, I didn't save it. Okay, so here's what we can do. We can do the last one and I can unplug it and see and compare it. Come on. So this is the list um, when it's plugged. So let me move this to the side here. Let me remove it. 
and then see if I can refresh this. Okay, let's do a quick comparison here. So, it seems like it wasn't showing up. Yep, it isn't. It isn't showing up on my OS. Drashna, so it isn't showing up. Let me see if when I plug this Tinsy, if it does. Yeah, now it does here. Tins Duino, you see it here? So this one is connected. Let me try once again the Pro Micro. Oh yeah, it's here, Arduino Leonardo. So it is showing up. I'm sorry, I thought it wasn't. And let me show you what happens too. Let me take out this. Okay. So just double check if I'm doing this correctly. I believe I am. So here's the ground pin and I, oh wait, there's no light showing up. Oh, I, I unplugged the wrong one. Sorry, there we go. Um, so this is slightly different. Now this LED is lighting up. It wasn't before. Do you know what that means? And I, I don't see this yeah, listed anymore. Let me try to reset now to see what happens. Yeah, now it got rid of the one that was lit up here. But I still don't see it shown here. Let me unplug and plug it again. Yeah, so we have it here. Let me, so here I have it on, on the reset and I'm going to touch ground two times really fast here. And I don't think anything happens. You see, it still shows as, sorry, you don't see it, but it still shows up normally. ISP flash it. How do I do that? I don't have. Let, let me shoot. Let me put another one. Another pro micro here. So you see how consistent this is. Got another one here. I'm going to plug it. Let me see if it appears. Yep. Appears here is as Arduino Leonardo. Let me. Reset and I'm going to touch ground here. Nothing happens. Okay, let me check the, the links you posted on Discord. Let me see how I do that. The thing is, uh, 
Dresh, no, I'm trying to flash TMK, not QMK. I can even show you what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to flash this IBM 4704 USB. Um, and I'm trying to do make DFU. And it keeps waiting for the reset, right? So when I reset it, nothing happens. It's still waiting. So if I... So what you're seeing, saying that I should do... Oh, I don't have the, the ISP flasher. Anyways, thank you very much for the help. I'm gonna see if I can manage to make this work. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for the help. I think I'm gonna end this here because I can't, I'm stuck. I'm completely stuck. I'm gonna try re rebooting as well to see if that helps. Oh, I can use the Tinsy? Okay. All right, and uh, if I tr if I get unstuck, I will probably do another stream to explain what happened. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, Dreshna, thanks so much for for joining and for trying to help me. I'm not sure what the problem is. I'm gonna try to follow the instructions and do the ISP flash here using the Tinsy, um, and I will definitely report report back to you. Okay. <laughs> I spent five hours trying it. Okay. So yeah, I guess I have a good four hours um, still to do it. But yeah, Drashna, thank you very much. And guys, I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, I would like to see this guy working. But it's inside a big Tic Tac box. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, but I'll, I'll definitely report back, okay? All right, guys. So... You guys have a good morning, good night, or wherever you are. Um, yeah, thank you very much for joining. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.